Tim Collins with Coleman today. I'm out in front of Good Hope City Hall with Sheriff Matt Gentry. Sheriff, I don't think a lot of people know, but you're one of the top three election officials in Coleman County, aren't you? Yes, sir. Now, it's it's you and Lisa McSwain, our circuit, circuit clerk, clerk, and uh, Tammy Brown, probate yes, judge, right? That's right. What's your role in all the election business? Well, as being one of the top three elected uh, officials that run election, you know, we have to maintain the security and the integrity of the election. And that's very important to me to make sure that we have a, a safe, secure, fair election uh, for the citizens of Coleman County. Well, now, there's going to be a lot of votes to uh, tabulate today. Every place I've been and I've talked to, big turnout before 8 a.m. You know, Garden City, 75 people, Crane Hill, 100, Coleman Civic Center full, lines here in Good Hope. Uh, is that what you're seeing as you, you go around? Yes, it is. Every uh, voting precinct I've been to this morning, huge turnouts, uh, more than they've seen in years. You know, here at Good Hope, uh, I just checked them, and they're averaging 100 voters uh, an hour. Now, your office's role, once the vote is complete, is you're, you're charged with protecting those ballots and then getting them back to the courthouse for the official tabulation, right? Yes, sir. And we'll be helping uh, see us to unload to bring them into the courtroom and, and help them be counted. Gotcha. Now I'm going to switch gears on you and talk on a national scale a little bit. Law enforcement's been a big topic in the national campaigns. Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark, I yes. think he may have stole your hat idea, but he's looking <laughs> good. But he's been very public. What are your thoughts on, on law enforcement in this election? Well, you know, if you've noticed uh, across the nation, law enforcement's been under attack. But I want to say we have the best citizens in Coleman County uh, since the recent attacks, you know, we are, are consistently having uh, citizen support here in Coleman County with our citizens. We have very conservative and, and loyal to law enforcement uh, citizens here. But as nationally, um, you know, I think we have to stay conservative. We have to stay uh, for the people. I think if we ever lose that conservative aspect of that we're not for the people anymore, then we're in trouble. But, but law enforcement, uh, if this election doesn't go uh, the way it needs to on the conservative aspect, then law enforcement's going to be in, in trouble. I think you could see more attacks against law enforcement and our values that we, we hold so dear in our communities. Well, your office and all sheriffs around the country, and you've said it before, is a constitutional office. That's so right. So if it doesn't go the way you're talking about, uh, you might be forced to exercise that, potentially. Yes, that's right. You know, as, as a sheriff, it's our job to protect our citizens' constitutional rights. And you see it in a lot of places where um, you have people that are coming in or they're trying to do things that are unconstitutionally, and those sheriffs are standing against those those government entities. And, and that's the way it could potentially be. Uh, you know, big topics here are, are Second Amendment, you know, our, our protection of our Second Amendment rights, our right to bear arms. And that's a very important uh, right to me. I mean, that's that was uh, the reason our founding fathers put it in the Constitution. Um, you know, because we, we as a, a citizen, you know, it's our job as citizens to run the government. It's not the government's job to run us. And that's very important to remember that. Sheriff, I know you've got uh, many, many more precincts to get to. I'm going to let you go. Thanks for talking to me. Could be a record turnout. I guess we'll find out this evening. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.